Okay, today we're going to be making a birdhouse out of one cedar fence picket. Uh, take that back. This looks like a treated uh, pine. You can make it out of any one by six that you want to. Uh, there, most people know one by sixes are only five and a half inches wide. Uh, this is a six foot on board, more than enough to make these um, one board bird houses. I think this was like, I don't know, buck 30, buck 40. So they're really in inexpensive to make and they're fun. I love making bird houses. So um, I t you can take these things down. I get 12 to 15 dollars a piece for them. Uh, 20 dollars for the cedars. This I'm pretty sure this is a uh, this is what I made the planters out of and uh, this is treated so uh, doesn't really make a difference. Birds love it. Get out there. Um, got some I've had out here for several years and birds love them. So what we're going to you're going to need is I'm going to mark this off and I'll show you when I get it done two pieces four inches long for the walls three pieces eight inches long for the roof and the floor two pieces seven inch long for the front and back so get this marked off I'm going to do my uh, front and back walls first and like I just said those are seven inches and let's see front and back or what let me see seven inches okay seven inches okay seven and fourteen Now on our birdhouse, on our front ends, we're going to need a slope. I put a 45 degree on there, and the best thing to do is cut them both at the same time so you get a even cut. So let me go ahead and lay out these other ones. Two sevens. Let me cut my three eighths now. So um, 22. 30, 38. That will be two of these pieces will be for the walls. The other eight inch piece will be for the uh, floor. I like a little, you know, little porch for them. You know, so you sit outside and talk about all the other birds. And what they're going to do when they retire and, you know, stuff like that. Birds, you know, birds. We've got to talk about this stuff. It's like humans. Now, uh, then we have two pieces at four inches, and they'll be for the walls. Okay. 42 and 46. And as you can see, I still got quite a bit of the board. You can make this bigger or smaller, however how you like. This is how I make them. And if you cut all these pieces at the same time, and do batches you can i can turn out four to five an hour okay at 12 to 15 dollars an hour or 20 dollars or 12 to 15 dollars a piece so that's what um 60 to 75 dollars an hour four to four to five birdhouses an hour if i do cedar and that's if i get all my pieces cut um no batch cut them and look straight there for some reason batch cut them so that I have all my pieces just big old stack of pieces here so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting um, I'll cut on this end so you can see I'd rather that end because it's in the shade but oh well <laughs> go too far one of these rough pieces 
you'll need the thickness cut or you'll have a lopsided drift. And the reason why, I hope you can see this, the reason why you won't want your roof pieces to be shorter is because if they're both like this, I'll go get the right side. Oops, that's just one I got. Let me cut the other rough piece. <laughs> but the reason why one will stick down farther, so you're going to cut the width of that other board off. So what we'll do is take this. Board warped a little bit, cut a little bit, but that's okay. Birds don't care. So I'm just going to mark it. Before I cut, okay, that's the width of that board. So this will be one of the top pieces. It's easier if you'll do this uh, before you cut this piece off. Still got uh, 26 inches left over right there, so you could get several of these from uh, buy two. You know, I generally buy about a dozen at a time because I make other things out of them. Okay, so we got our piece for the rub. Now we got to cut our ends. And like I said, I put it 45 degree on the for the front and back walls. to measure off of. Okay, now we got 45. Let's see. Now we're going to 45 there with the dog ears are always in the way. What we do is smart I just measured all these before that way you thought I was a genius but no the sink of a little bit darker to show up on the okay there's the slopes of the house uh, this is the center of the board 45 degrees on the and kind of that's a mess mark so and um, I could do each individual board that way, but it's just easier if I put them together and cut them at once. You find that other board that goes to the front. Rough. Oh, right there. And then a snake it bit These boards are well cupped. I'm going to cut them right here. Hope you don't mind. Pick one that seems to be the flattest. 
Other scrap pieces. Um, this is a little flatter for for the foundation, so we cut it. I'll save that for another one. And this will be what the whole. Now some of them don't have a little like porch, and that's fine, you know. This is your birdhouse, you and your birds. That's between you and your birds, man. Mine like a little porch, like I said. Sit on, talk about the other birds. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now remember, don't. Um, don't just start nailing, you know, here at the ends because you've got a little porch. So typically, I will measure. Oh, see where it okay, remember these are five and a half. We come this way, then we're going to have another one here. You can do it this way. You get pretty exact. Again, this is kind of concave, but. Uh, Cur a cup, hey, that's okay. Birds don't care. I re they really don't. I've asked them. I said, Don, we just want a place to stay. Get out of the weather. Don't get our feathers wet. We don't like to get our feathers wet, is what they told me. Except ducks. Ducks is uh, water off our backs. Um, now, you can screw these. If you screw these, pre drill your holes or you split the wood. Uh, you can glue them. They still need some kind of mechanical fastener, and I prefer my trusty 16 gauge. You can use 18 gauge. You can use whatever you want to. Pass load nailer here. Okay. I'm back. I'm going to put the bow on these towards the back. Yeah, they're kind of. Got clamped somewhere, but I'm not gonna look them up just right now. Now these are two inch nails. The inch would be just fine. You could use 18 gauge if you wanted. Um, that's fine. You see one kind. Because if you use two, sometimes they kind of tend to come out a little bit. Okay. Now, before you print the front on, we want to mark and drill our birdhouse hole. Uh, typically, an inch and a quarter is fine for most birds, like sparrows and finches. Uh, if you have bluebirds, inch and a half. They recommend inch and a half hole. Um, I think if you're out west, you got the big old fat bluebirds, a inch and nine sixteenths or five eighths, something like that. One of those fat birds really want in, they'll lose weight and get an inch and a half hole. Okay, I got an inch and a half, but that's what I got. So where I normally put it is just go across to here from corner to corner and just kind of, kind of, you know, here we are halfway. Obviously, I don't think it really matters for a bird. You know, I don't have picky birds, so. I'm going to put it. Um, I put it right here, so half of it be above this imaginary line and half below. So right there, scrap piece of wood. You can do this before you cut the the uh, boards, and that's easy. Or you can uh, if you do it afterwards. There again, it, this is not rocket science, folks. the 
perch. Uh, some people say, oh, don't put a perch on there. It's predators get them. Any predator big enough to get a bird will probably break the perch. Uh, unless you use a really, now I have usually used quarter inch dowel rods before, but if you use a three eighths dowel rod, then something might be a but I've never seen it happen. So anyway, you perch wise, you can put it any place in here. Again, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use the, this. And what I'll do, I like to cut limbs with a little forks in them. And I'll get one and I'll just glue it right in there. So, but right now, let's go ahead and get this back thing together. And let's put it right here. Front. Upside out, if your board gets up like mine, and this will give us a small, see my, small overhang. And you run out of nails. It really helps if you have somebody to help you hold this while you shoot it. But if you don't, clamps always help too. So, there we are. A little off. Not bad. Now. You want, if you're using a nail gun, always be sure that your farther away, your hand is farther away than what the nails are. So, okay, got that one side. Now, one side is going to be our clean out, so we don't want to uh, nail both sides. Um, what I do for a hinge, and I like to clean out on the side. That warped board got me right there, but that's okay. We'll take about a curve off of it. I'm getting hot in the sun. Some people just throw the board away because it's warped, but I, I don't. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm having some finishing nails here someplace. Apparently they roll off the, okay. Oh, there they are. And you're just going to nail them in this, we're, we're just where they will be going in through this board into this one, just like that. And these are about inch and a half to two inch uh, finishing nails. Doesn't take much. Try to drive them straight. Sometimes the grain of the wood will make that difficult. Like it is here. That's okay. Once you start coming through, just like that, turn it around. get into here you'll see that this will swing up and you can clean it out. It's also good for ventilation. Um, this other side will have a little gap at the top under the roof and 
that will provide ventilation. Get your sidewall straight. Come like that. And you can pre-drill a hose and do it that way. And that works. Just a little bit more. So, now you're going to have, also the reason I cut these 8 inch have a little bit of overhang. I like a little overhang. Make sure one, the one that is more narrow, remember we cut that one off, is going to go up here. It will go flush with the ends right here. We're going to make sure we got a little overhang front and back. on these if you want and then screw them or nail them it's up to you there's no hard and fast rule now we put this on this is the full length one Okay, folks, that's it. That's easy as it, as it is. See my little, um, a little uh, perch I cut from a limb. Uh, you can use dowels, like I said before, um, and like little porch right here. I like the little overhangs. I think they look better. You don't have to put them on there if you don't want them. But um, so for two boards, you could easily make two, maybe three bird houses. Um, like I said, those boards are buck thirty or something like that, maybe a buck fifty. Uh, the cedar ones are a little bit more. I think they're two twenty-five for the cedar. Um, hey, this will be great. These you can paint. This is, this board has actually been laying out here uh, for about six months or so, maybe even longer. I think last year. Anyway, uh, that's how you do it. Quick and easy. Like I said, uh. I'll put uh, like some clear um, spar varnish or something on these, kind of shine them up, sand them, shine them up, take them down to the flea market or put them on Facebook and I'll get 12 to $15 a piece for them. So anyway, you can do it too, um, quick and easy. So anyway, hey, yeah, well done. Like and subscribe. I'm going to have more uh, projects like this coming out. So make sure you like and subscribe and um, watch for the next one.